Hello friends, welcome to my channel, a channel for learning simple coding. If you find this video to be helpful, please like, share and subscribe. In previous video, we have seen how we can implement the concept of composition in React using TypeScript. Now in this video, we are going to learn how we can provide an initial value here and for that, how we maintain the states in two components separately. So for that, in home counter, I need to create a user state. For that, I create const and I say that counters, counters and set counters. So I'm changing a name here counters. That's why I'm just changing here name. So I say this uh, counter four. For example, I say counter four, this one. Now we have counters here. We have set counters here, and we have use state here. And in this use state, I need to specify counters four. Remember and that I want to initialize here. So this value I have initialized here as a array object like this. Then slice here. Now this counters we have to change to this one. So this counter we have changed here. Remember that because it's a state variable now. So state variable we use to implement this. Now one more thing what we have we have to specify here the initial value of the state which we are passing here in count. For that if I change it and I say that I am passing a count value and that count value is counters dot dot count like this. So you see it generating an error that this is not specified in counter. So we go there in counter and we specify here that we have a props and that props is counter props type. So I say counter props and here I create this interface counter props. So I say interface counter props and here I specify that it is the count type of number. Remember that I specify here count and in counter I specify that this is the count and this is the property which we have here. And that property I want to initialize this value here props dot count that property value count I want to pass here for initialization of this counter and if you see that now automatically this value is sliced just refresh here and automatically we have the initial value to all the component you see so if you see that here in a state variable you see here here in a state variable we specify this data type but automatically this data type is specified here you see that it initialized automatically that is a counter type of array so this we can also specify explicitly here we can say that this is counter type of array like this we can specify here that is a good practice to specify data type explicitly. Now what we can do here also in counter by default it's a number property here I, I can also specify that it is a number type explicitly I can specify the count value which we are passing and this count value is a number type. So that is the way to specify explicitly property to or data type explicit data type to use a state function or hook so that is the way to pass explicit data type to use a state hook like this here we are specifying the array object and here we are specifying the primary data type number like this so we have a same output here and I refresh it and we will have an initial value which we have a specify so you see in counter we specify initial value same value we have so here we have seen that how we can maintain the separate two state one state here and one state here in this 
in next video we will see that how we can add the reset button here and how we can remove the state of a child component by using reset button and what are the problems that will come after that and how the increment and decrement button will stop working so how we can resume those facility again that these increment and decrement buttons we how we can resume again so that we are going to learn in next video that is called the controlled component we will make counter as a controlled component and we will also implement the concept of single source of truth so we will see you in next video also that's all in this video if you like this please do subscribe thank you for watching this video